Call it America's Iraq War hangover. I will not want to see another war, and I will not want to see America be involved in another war, absolutely not. I feel sorry for the guys that are dying over there and all that, but we got to take care of our own. The prospect of military intervention in Syria does have supporters across the U.S. I think it's horrific what the everyday Syrian people have had to endure. If we don't do anything and this, you know, massacre or the martyrs continues, I think it's maybe inevitable to do some kind of limited action of, you know, a military action, yeah. But polls show most Americans, weary of more than a decade of war in Afghanistan and Iraq, want no part of it. A Reuters Ipsos poll last week found about 60 percent of Americans oppose U.S. intervention in Syria, just 9 percent support it. That is despite evidence the regime of Bashar al-Assad has used chemical weapons against his people. President Barack Obama warned that would cross a red line. I think uh, Obama probably shouldn't have said, uh, put the red line out there like he did. And uh, now I guess he feels that he's got to do something about it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we ought to have a little bit more of a wait and see attitude. Well, Americans are reluctant to intervene in Syria, they have a long history of short term support, rallying around their commander in chief when troops are deployed. Political analysts and pollsters say a brief military action would likely face little opposition. But recent U.S. history suggests U.S. interventions are rarely brief. American troops have been mired in conflict after conflict from the rice fields of Vietnam to the Taliban strongholds of Afghanistan and most notably to Iraq, where Americans recall their president cited weapons of mass destruction, which later proved non-existent, to justify war. I'm not sure proof behind it, but because I don't think intel has been very, very accurate in the Middle East on just about any issue. I, I think it's, a, uh, it's another show of Obama's weakness, the fact that he has to pull a stunt like this and keep his popularity up. And I think it's a mistake for the United States to be involved at all. Along the coasts and here in the middle of America, for many, the lingering mistrust that followed the war in Iraq runs deep. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.